Now we all know that pets aren't just animals, they're family. So as you're preparing for emergencies, don't forget to include your pets. If taking care of your pets is a priority to you, then go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and we'll get started. Hey guys, welcome to The Fearless Prepper. As more people are making emergency preparedness a priority in their lives, we need to make sure that we don't forget our beloved pets. Having all the items gathered and assembled for a pet first aid kit is a great place to start. Now, of course, you can always buy a kit that is already assembled. And if you check the description box below this video, you will see a list of options I've put together for your convenience for pre-assembled kits and also the individual items for those of you who'd prefer to make it yourself. The list I'm going to share with you was put together by the American Kennel Club. To begin with, you'll want to get a pet first aid kit. This will be essential in times of crisis. Next would be gauze. This is helpful for both pets and humans. Next would be nonstick bandages. Now, the ones I've left a link for in the description below is a pack of six self-adhering water repellent bandages that work well on pets without sticking to their fur. Don't forget adhesive tape too. To go along with those items, scissors come in handy to help cut bandages or gauze to size when needed. Next is cotton balls. They can function in both the application of medicine and the cleaning up of cuts or wounds. Of course, we can't forget to mention hydrogen peroxide to help prevent infection of an injury. Another item is antibiotic spray and or ointment. This can be used to treat cuts, sores, rashes, dry skin, and allergies, and is safe as if accidentally ingested, making it a great emergency item. Another item, a digital thermometer, is an emergency essential. Now, if your pet takes any medications, having a medicine pill box will definitely come in handy. Also, tweezers. These are helpful when picking out splinters from your pet's paws or ticks out of their fur. Next is a magnifying glass. They can magnify cuts, wounds, and or splinters. Another thing would be to use eyedroppers or syringes to flush wounds or to give oral medication to your pet. And last of all, for you dog owners, would be a soft muzzle. Because remember, even if your dog is non-aggressive and has never bit or hurt anyone, your dog may become frantic if hurt or wounded. And a muzzle may help to keep prevent them from biting you or others. All right, you guys. If you're not already, I hope you'll consider subscribing to this channel so you can stay tuned as I will be creating a playlist of other topics on making sure your pet is prepared for emergencies. I'd love to hear what animals and breeds you guys have, so leave a comment down below telling us who's in your family. Thank you for watching, you guys. You have a great day, and I will see you next time.